Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Food Inventory Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in our household, it's me, my husband, and our seven month old little boy. And I'm working on using up stuff in my freezer, fridge, and pantry. So in my freezer, I had these Franks from Dietz and Watson, and so Howard grilled out, and here they are on the plate. And I decided that I wanted to have chili dogs today, so I made a hot dog chili sauce. It was my first time making it, and I'll make sure to link the recipe below. I followed the directions exactly, but I did add more seasoning. It wasn't salty enough for me, so I ended up adding some garlic salt and seasoning salt but it is a really good chili hot dog sauce. So here is Howard's plate. He has two dogs and he has um, some crushed avocado and then he also has cheddar cheese on top and then we are trying out these Parmesan garlic um, potato chips for the first time. These were in my pantry and these are from Kettle right here and they're pretty good. I mean, they have a very, very mild flavor. I probably wouldn't get them again. Howard said the same thing. They're very mild, um, not bold at all. And so we're having that and then here is my plate and all I have on my hot dog is just um, chili and cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I headed to my freezer, pantry, and fridge. And so we are having these um, caramelized onion chicken meatballs. I had these in my freezer, so I took them out. A couple of different ways you can cook them. You can make them in the microwave, um, in the oven, or on the stove top. So I made mine on the stove top. You just put a little olive oil, or oil I should say, in the pan and you just saute them until they're nice and golden brown. And then, so I'm using that up. And then I am using um, a, a couple of cans of green beans from Aldi. And this is what I use to season the green beans. Um, and it's really good. There it is, it's by Knorr. So we're having those. And then I also made some stick of butter rice. It's called different things. Some people call it brown rice, but I use, one can of French onion soup, and one can of beef consomme, a stick of butter, and one cup of jasmine rice, and you just bake it. And so on top, those are the caramelized onions from the French onion soup, and it's really good. Very easy to make, but it does take about an hour, so it's not something you can just think of last minute to cook and it's ready to go. No, it does take an hour to cook. So I'll link the recipe in the description box. I will say, the only thing that I don't do that the recipe calls for, it calls for you to cook this at 425 in the oven and I have never done that. I cook it at 350 and it turns out just fine. It turns out just like this. And then for dessert, I made some Rice Krispie treats and here they are. I recorded a video not too long ago on how I make my Rice Krispie treats. So I'll make sure to include that video in the description box as well so you guys can check it out if you're interested. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Everything came from our house. I didn't have to go out and buy anything. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am using up some stuff that we had in our freezer. So I am using this Korean style barbecued beef. I got this from Sam's on a recent haul. I'll make sure to link it so you guys can check it out. Howard and I are a big fan of Asian food, so we were both excited about this. So in this box, you get two one pound um, bags of fully cooked beef and you just cook it in the skillet. So here it is on um, our, well, Howard's plate and we both tasted it and it's okay. Um, I don't think that I would repurchase it again. Um, Howard said he tasted some spice. The piece that I tried, I didn't get any spice, but I do feel like it needs a sauce because you can see it's a little dry. So there's a close up of it. And with it, I just made some fried rice and some stir fried green beans. So for the fried rice, I decided to add this seasoning mix. Normally I don't add seasoning mix, but as I mentioned, I'm trying to use up stuff in my pantry as well. And I have a bunch of these, so I just added it. And it's okay, it gave the rice a nice color, but it's kind of bland. 
and then I didn't notice it was low sodium, so I did had to add, did have to add some additional seasoning to it, like garlic salt. I added some sesame oil, and then I just stir fried some green beans with garlic, and I used these from Aldi. Um, I used half a bag. And like I said, I just used some garlic and then I wanted some soup. So I have a bunch of these soup, soup packages in my pantry. And we really like this because it does taste like restaurant style. So all you need is water, the soup package, and then you just add in and add in an egg at the end. And it's really good. As you can see, it has dried mushrooms and green onions and all that stuff in the packet. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some froze, frozen DiGiorno pizza. This is a twin pack that I picked up from Sam's. We've had these on other What's For Dinner videos and we both really like them a lot. It is their crispy pan pizza and you get two in a box. We got pepperoni and so it comes in its own little tray. And so you cook it in the oven directly on the oven rack in this little tray, little pan pizza tray. And then when it comes out, you put it on a baking sheet and then you cut it up. So um, as you can see, the edges get really, really crispy with all the cheese on there. And then let me, I cut, um, I cut a slice so you guys could see the bottom, how golden and crusty it gets, and I really like that. And you can see how thick it is. So this is one of our favorite pizzas from DiGiorno, um, along with the croissant crust pizza too. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe today. It is red beans and rice. It's a skillet recipe with andouille sausage. So in my skillet, I have the andouille sausage. I have some chopped onion, chopped bell pepper, and garlic. The recipe calls for um, celery, but Howard and I don't like that, so I left that out. And so once this has finished browning, I'm gonna add in the red beans, some diced tomatoes, and I'll bring you guys back and show you what it looks like. Oh, and by the way, I will link the recipe in the description box. Be right back. All right, so here are the red beans. Howard and I tasted it, and it is, it's pretty tasty, it tastes pretty good. So this is Howard's plate, and um, I'm just serving the beans over jasmine rice, and of course he has avocado. And so this is going to conclude our meals of the week. We're gonna be having leftovers for a couple of days. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.